Washington, Samantha Manning, News Center 7. Well, parts of the Miami Valley had a lot of sunshine today. There was the other half of the Miami Valley that saw torrential rain. And these were areas mainly south and west of Dayton. And you can see even parts of Greene County, which is southeast of Dayton, picked up on some of that rain as well. In Xenia, very heavy downpour developed there around 4 o'clock this afternoon, picking up more than 3 inches of rain, according to Laverne Sexton's uh, rain gauge there. Saw many other rain totals that fell anywhere between that 1 to 3 inch range. One of those locations included Preble County. And look at this photo that was sent in by Carla. Uh, and you can see the widespread flooding there due to the very uh, heavy rainfall that fell in Preble County. Well, we also had a funnel cloud that formed this afternoon. This was in Brookville, and this is much like a land spout. Basically, we had the heat and humidity out there today created the instability, the rising air. There was a front nearby, which also helped to initiate that updraft. And oftentimes, we can see that updraft getting cooled as it condenses into the cloud. Sometimes there can be a little bit of some spinning with that updraft and that will create a funnel cloud. These type of situations don't necessarily result in that funnel cloud reaching the ground and when they do, which is on the lower end chance, uh, they recreate little to no damage really. So that was what we had out there today. Much better conditions now. My Doppler 7 radar scanning the skies for you locally, not looking at any precipitation falling. But a few showers and slow moving thunderstorms have formed out towards Columbus and look just how slow they are moving. So there's a situation out towards Franklin County that perhaps they may be starting to deal with some flooding potential as we move through the next half hour. South and west cloud cover still there in Butler, Ward, and Clinton counties. Those are the areas that picked up most of the rain. Notice we had this band of very heavy rain from Wayne County, just outside of Richmond, into Southern Dark County and Preble County. And we had over two and a half inches of rain in a lot of locations there. Then a very heavy downpour in Warren County towards Lebanon, and then there was this one little pocket in central Greene County where we picked up more than an inch, which I did show you on that rain gauge. Now these spots that picked up the very heavy rain, the moisture is there, the muggy weather is there, and the stagnant air, and that could create some fog by tomorrow morning. So pay attention to that. If you're up early, you might see some of those patchy, denser spots. Then as we move past sunset, that fog should burn off and give way to a mostly sunny sky. So tomorrow's forecast, with the exception of some isolated patchy fog in the morning south and west, will be muggy in the upper 60s at 7 a.m. Low 80s by noon time, 90 degrees or so, give or take a few degrees with an isolated pop-up for the afternoon. And once again, that chance is going to fall well far south and west. So there's future cast for you at 8.30 in the morning. There's that indication of some fog to start the day. We get to the afternoon, and you see those gray or green little dots there. That's your stray shower of a sh uh, shower or a thunderstorm that might form. The rest of us, really all of us in the Miami Valley, should be rain-free with that mostly sunny sky. It will turn out to be a great day because we will have the sunshine and the hot temperatures. 89 for our high tomorrow. Thursday and Friday, we're going to have lots of sunshine into the 90s. The beginning of a heat wave because as we move towards the upcoming weekend, we're in the low 90s for 4th of July and the day after. There may be a pop-up shower or thunderstorm both of those days, but again, the chances are on the very low end. We'll have a, another day of hot temperatures on the way for Monday as well, high of 92 degrees. Meteorologist Kirstie Zantini is back at it at 425. She'll talk about any potential of the downpour later in the day. Tonight, Lowe's Home Improvement faces some scrutiny. An 84-year-old Northridge.